What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some market talk as per usual. And today is Wednesday, so we should have new content either today or the next day. Now, we're going to talk about a couple things, a lot of things actually. Before we get into the video, man, if you guys could please drop that sub. Also, smash the like button. Let's drop 100 likes on the video. We're going to have some content later as well. That would be greatly appreciated. I just want to know how you guys' spotlight sims are doing. And also, man, if you guys could follow the Twitter, that would be greatly appreciated. We're doing MT giveaways on there. We're also selling MT on there. So if you need MT, let me know. And yeah, guys, today, um, we're going to talk about a couple things going around in the game, MT methods, all that good stuff. So right now, markets actually kind of crashed. Not totally crashed, but it's kind of crashed. And honestly, it just makes me think that they're going to drop fire content. If you think about it, 2K hasn't really dropped really good content for money. So... They re-released these packs. Literally should ring a bell in your head. They released these packs because something's coming, guys. If you think about it, they're really trying to drop the prices of these cards. What does that mean? We're going to have new cards coming to the game that are really OP. And I think it's going to be GOAT cards. Now, why would they drop these, guys? These are the most OP packs in the game. Like, they're Opals. There's Opals in packs. Like, really good Opals in packs. Now, if that doesn't ring a bell, man, last time they did that, they dropped super packs, and then they dropped really OP packs right after. So, if you guys could please just let me know what you think is coming down below, that would be greatly appreciated, because honestly, I think something really big is coming, it's going to create an even bigger market crash. Like, for instance, we just got a GOAT Kobe Bryant for free. Now, 2K doesn't like free, you guys know that. Sooner or later, we're going to get the most OP packs, OP cards, and they haven't dropped Prime in a while either. I'm expecting two Prime players this week. Possibly and also my shirts like that because of the green screen. So if it does freak you out, that's my bad I honestly kind of like the look but um Yeah, since there is a market crash We're gonna go over it. I'm gonna tell you guys what to do with your MT and all that good stuff. So right now Looking at this overall Hito Turkoglu's down a lot. He was around 300k now Most of the opals aren't like that cheap like I'm gonna say this right now Luka Doncic like I just got him for 240k 240k, oh wait, I got outbid it, it just said I got him. But all I'm saying is Luka Doncic is down a lot, which is something you want to pay attention to. If you do want to end up completing that next Prime set, I would 110% go look at Luka Doncic because he's one player that I'm going to say right now, he should rise, bro. It's Luka Doncic, he has really good stats, and I really do believe his price will rise a lot. So that's one player I'm going to look at throughout the day. Um, he's definitely a good card to look forward to. Because he's going to be up a lot, bro. This is a prime set. The open reward could be Giannis, LeBron, Kawhi, or Paul George. Personally, I think it's going to be LeBron or Giannis. I could definitely see that coming. There hasn't been any Giannis or LeBron talk. Meanwhile, they dropped Kobe. They dropped Hakeem. So, Giannis and LeBron, bro, they're really freaking good. They're one of the best cards in the game every year. So, since they haven't released any news on them, I believe that will be the prime set for sure. Um... Let's go over some methods. To be honest, right now, I'm going to say this. I have not been growing any of the Spotlight Sims. Like, straight up, I can't do it. I can't. These computer games are literally the most stressful, boring things that I've ever done in my life. Yeah, I'm in quarantine. I just can't do it. So, I decided to move away. I started to work the auction. And then again, I couldn't even really work the auction because it was down. So, I honestly kind of just been sitting away from the game for a little bit. Because honestly, they need to fix their game. They really have to. It's just simply not even fun right now. Like straight up, you can't snipe because the opal filter is ruined. But yeah, I found some methods, like I said, in my other video. So we're going to go over all of them in this video. First off, I'm going to say right off the bat, bro, Spotlight Sim is a great way to make MT. Especially if you have low MT. Because first off, a lot of things pop up. And half these cards, bro, DBG make videos on, meaning their price went up a lot. Like, dude, Anthony Tolver was around 8K, and I ended up selling both of mine. Um, I sold Anthony Tolvers for 8K, got both of them for 1K. He is dropped since. I guess there are packs still out, because I think that these Spotlight Sim cards are still in packs, I believe. They're still in packs. They're still in packs till Friday. These packs are still here till tomorrow. So, tomorrow I'm expecting Prime. Friday I'm ex expecting a new set. 
which is super possible they have to drop new content they haven't made really any money this week they're gonna drop something fire so with that being said if you guys didn't sell your team like i'll show you my team i sold it <clears throat> i sold it bro this is my team bro pretty much all free cards tracy mcgrady i got as an investment and yeah these are all free cards this is my team bro i was also doing the hawks challenges i actually ditched out but yeah this is my bench bro this is nothing special this team is literally worth what about 400 300k 300k not even that 300,000 mt probably like 200 something k but yo all i'm saying is i sold most of my cards i sold my Giannis. i sold my kareem they're actually really expensive right now and all i'm gonna say is i would 110 percent recommend you guys end up do doing what i tell you to do because friday thursday they, they haven't made money this week something big is going to come and the market is already prematurely crashed now before any other youtubers make videos i just want to get this out something is coming stay prepared like literally you have to listen to me on this one something is coming bro they haven't had really good content since i would say two weeks ago like they dropped prime what two weeks ago they dropped something else two weeks ago they dropped the flash two weeks in a row flash is not a really big money grab in my opinion to be completely honest yeah they dropped the shack but you really think they're not gonna drop something really good honestly don't think this week's content was that good so with that being said let's get us some more filters so right now i'm gonna just say this i would 110 percent recommend you guys do sit on the ami filter because there's a lot of movement in it there's a lot of mt making methods in it and honestly it's the fastest one like i said on ps4 bro it is so much easier to snipe me and young simba have actually show you guys how much easier it is to snipe on that game because ps4 for some reason has so much more auction pop i guess it's because the auction market has been broken so much on xbox and it caused a lot of people not to sell their cards like i want to say sell cards now but then again bro the auction could literally glitch out like it has been for the last couple weeks and honestly i don't want that for any of you guys so i noticed one thing it is early it's around 12 o'clock the market usually goes like destroyed around six around six eastern so if you want to throw up your cards now while you can it's a pretty good idea like if you throw them up now you have a pretty small chance in the market actually dying i don't know what the market problem is with the game i don't know if it's the servers and whatnot but as all as i'm saying is bro if you guys remember i sold my blake for 370 and i sold my Giannis for 680,000 mt and i'm going to show you their prices now and they're nowhere near like Giannis is 425 or 35 minutes he's probably going for 500 five something but that's not the point bro the market has been so weird over the last couple days or so and i really just really 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 hope you guys sell your cards and you guys make so much mt on friday and on friday they're probably gonna drop something with a diamond so on friday i would recommend you guys sniping a ton of cards and right now obviously recommend you guys try getting your mto by playing tto that have really good packs in tto you could they even have the ben simmons pack on tto that is actually clarified so if you want to try to get ben simmons and evo him like right there i'll get a little quick snipe i got him he's around 6k 7k so that's a real quick snipe the diamond filter has been good for years it's been good for years bro this filter is so good until diamonds become completely become extinct once they drop like a new set of opals that's where we'll go down so right now amethyst filter pink diamond filter they're all gonna be working if you guys want to snipe the oval filter go ahead it's gonna be a lot more competitive it's a lot harder to snipe ovals but yo pink diamond filter diamond filter ami filter definitely the ones to look forward to and honestly i don't know man i'm just sitting here i'm trying to get luka Doncic. i'm trying to get those cards because if you guys do know every time a prime set is over like once the card comes out those prices and those cards skyrocket like crazy and also want to go over one more thing if you guys have any of these sets like if you have udonis haslam and these gail goodriches bro they're so expensive so like literally next year i'm going to buy all these cards that are going for no mt and i'm gonna flip them months later for thousands and thousands of mt like literally half these cards are so expensive especially the udonis haslam like i'm about to show you i hope he's still that expensive like dude look at his price this card is so rare and i don't know why but yeah that's really all i got for the video just wanted to get that bit out let me know in the comments what's going on with you guys what you've been doing hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for more content have a good one guys peace